Hello again, this is Try and Weird 412. Just wanted to take another look quickly at something from the game, uh, Normal Game 8, which I just posted the video for. I was going to talk about it a little more during the actual game video, but didn't want to extend it too long. I wanted to look at the stalemate position that England got himself into. Uh, we'll do this real quick. Uh, he had his original three centers, also all of the Scandinavian centers. He also had St. Petersburg and Portugal. He had a couple more here on the mainland, but they aren't necessary really for the stalemate, so I will leave them off. Uh, what you see here is I have eight units, or eight centers highlighted. Three here, three more here for six, then seven, and eight. And to defend those eight units uh, from an attack from the south, which England had to do, he needed a fleet in the mid-Atlantic, that could be supported from two places, so we'll say those two. He needed a unit in Denmark and also a unit in St. Petersburg that could be supported from anywhere else. That's six units, see three there, uh, four, five, six, and with those six units uh, England would be able to defend himself from any attack that we would have been able to bring. Up here you see St. Petersburg can be attacked from Livonia and Moscow, so all you need to do is support that from Finland. Now the support can't be cut, and you can't bring any more units to bear on it than that, so that territory there is safe. Uh, here you see Denmark can only be attacked from Kiel, and so all it has to do is hold, and it can't be dislodged. And then down here you see Mid-Atlantic, can be attacked from North Africa, Western Med, or Spain, so it should be supported by two units. I see Portugal supporting, uh, it, support from Portugal could be cut from Spain, but then there's only two units left to attack Mid-Atlantic, so it's still uh, perfectly safe there. So you see that eight center position can be held with six units so long as no one is able to build fleets outside of the Mediterranean. In our game, uh, I as Austria and Turkey controlled all of the German centers that could build fleets as well as the French center that could build fleets. So we could not build fleets north of this line, uh, which meant England was completely safe in his position there. Uh, that's why the game had to go to a stalemate. And I just found that to be a really interesting, uh, really strong position uh, for a country that wasn't that big. I mean, eight, eight centers isn't a ton. But to be able to hold eight centers indefinitely with only six units is a pretty neat spot. So I wanted to point that out. All right, thanks for watching.